In this problem, we're trying to measure the height of a mountain. And you see the mountain here. And the height here can't be measured directly, because we can't just drop a tape measure down there inside the mountain. It's solid rock. Even if we were to drill a hole in the mountain to drop a, a measuring device down, we wouldn't know where to stop drilling because this line doesn't conveniently stop us in, in real life. But in this case, we have a flat plain here, and we're told that in some parts of the world, mountains rise steeply from an otherwise flat plain. And we're going to measure the height of the mountain. And we do it indirectly by measuring some angles, which are shown over here. We're told from two different locations, that's these two points, that are 215 meters apart, two different angles are measured. So from this point, the line of sight to the top of the mountain makes an angle of 28.88 degrees with the horizontal. And if we scoot 215 meters over to the left to this, to this point, from there our line of sight to the top of the mountain makes an angle of 20.22 degrees. And from that information we can find the height. Okay, let's think first about this um, slightly smaller triangle right here. Okay, I know this angle is 22.88. This side right here, I'm going to call that x. And this height over here is h. And I know that the tangent of 22.88 degrees is going to be h over x. So I'm going to solve that for h. h is going to be x times the tangent of 22.88 degrees. And the tangent of 22.88 degrees is a number. I can put that in the calculator. And that comes out to 0.422. So I can say h is 0.422x. Now let's look at the, the larger triangle, this one. I have a different angle here, 20.22, same height, so the opposite side, the side opposite this angle is still h, but the adjacent side is now x plus 215, see there, x plus 215. So let's write our tangent function for that. The tangent of the 20.22 degree angle will be the opposite side, that's h, over the adjacent side, that's x plus 215. And let's solve that for h. h is going to be the tangent of 20.22 times x plus 215. And tangent of 20.22 is just a number. That's a 0.3683. So h is 0 0.3683 times x plus 215. And I'm going to distribute the 0.3683. And when I do that, do that I get h is 0.3683x plus 0.3683 times 215, and that's 79.19. Okay, and again, if h is equal to this and h is equal to that, then this has to equal that. So I'll write that down. Point four two two x has to equal 0.3683x plus 79.19. Then I'll subtract 0.3683x from each side. So my next move is to do minus 0.3683x on each side. Okay, and those cancel out. And on the left, 0.422 minus 0.3683 is 0 0.0537. 0 0.0537x. 
And then on the right, I just have 79.19. So x is 79.19 divided by 0 0.0537. And that comes out to 1,479 meters. Let's go back up to the diagram for just a second. That's x. That's this distance. We're trying to find h. So I'm just going to use this fact right here. h is 0.422 times x. And that will be my final step. So h is 0.422 times x. And that comes out to 622 meters.